Thanks for checking out this video. Like and subscribe. I ain't gonna keep you waiting. Let's check out how I recreated an abandoned house from the game The Last of Us inside of Unreal Engine 5. I created this abandoned house using Maya, ZBrush, Substance Painter, Photoshop, Speed Tree, and uh, brought it all, wrapped it all up inside of Unreal Engine. All right, the best technique to learn how to create something is to reverse engineer it. Take it apart, recreate it to learn why the people who made the thing make those decisions you can watch a million tutorials but the best teacher is going to be experience you got to hop in there and learn learn man make mistakes and then learn from those mistakes all right so to start i took a lot of screenshots of the abandoned house inside of the game trying to get all of the details and all of the cracks all right i started by creating the foundation of the house with like a stand-in game character to get a sense of scale you're gonna want to spend more time on the foundation than you would think um, like a real house if your foundation has mistakes those mistakes will propagate into what's built on top you don't want that to happen because you're gonna spend a lot of time correcting those mistakes trust me you don't want to correct those mistakes I had to make those mistakes and I'm 100 years old now so don't do it don't Next is the house wood siding. So for the wood siding, I just created one wood siding object to start. Then I duplicated it along the Y axis to cover the exterior of the building. Next is the roof. Like the house foundation, take your time on the roof and get a solid base of the roof because all of the objects that you build on top of the roof are, is going to come from this foundation. And you don't want to have to go back and uh, correct any mistakes that you may have made rushing through the foundation. Don't do not do it. Alright, so next it's time to create like the, uh, I call them accent objects. Objects like the door, the, um, I don't know, the door, the window frame, little bits and pieces like that to give the uh, the final product more life uh, and that's going to take a while so listen to a good podcast a good three hour podcast it's probably going to take longer than that to uv all of the objects and stuff like that so hey get cozy it's going to take a while to create those accent objects I started to texture the roof and um, 
initially my roof wasn't working my roof didn't look as good as I wanted my roof to look so I took a few um, I took a few reference pictures to try to figure out what wasn't working for my roof and to add those and to add those uh, elements to it all right so this is this is a bit convoluted I came up with a with a technique it's a bit convoluted though but it worked basically I created a height map inside of Photoshop then inside of Maya I created geometry using that height map then I created a normal map from the geometry that I created from the height map it's convoluted it's kind of confusing but it it was a solution and it worked all right now that I have a solid texture for my roof I deteriorated the roof a little bit more added some more detail to it um, finished it up basically all right so next is vertex painting and um, to create the textures on the outside of the house but in this video I'm not gonna I'm not gonna um, I'm not gonna go through vertex painting step by step in this video because that's a topic on its own but I will leave uh, a few links to tutorials that I did use to learn about vertex painting in the description of this video so go check those out to uh, to get a to get a grasp on vertex painting and what it's all about all right so next it's time to texture those accents objects that that I created earlier the door the garage the um, gutter the drainage pipe stuff like that next is creating the ivy in the bush in the front of the house inside of speed tree I have the least amount of experience in speed tree as a matter of fact I just started using speed tree for this for this project so I started with the easiest object first which was a bush then from the bush I moved on to, to an ivy plant <clears throat> then from the ivy plant I moved on to a bigger ivy plant once again I, I'm gonna leave a tutorial a link to the tutorial that I used to learn about speed tree in the description of this video so go check it out go check it out alright so last is the wood boards that are placed along the exterior of the house add a detail inside of ZBrush Then I textured the wood inside of Substance Painter. Then I brought the wood into the game engine. Rinse and repeat at this point. Finally, I added a bit of foliage to the ground. And here's the finished product. All right, so let's run that animation from the beginning back one more time. Let's check it on out. Thanks for checking this video out. If you made it to the end, hey, hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. More game development content coming soon. Let me know if you have any questions about about how, anything, any of the different areas that I kind of overviewed in this video. L let me know. Um, leave a comment, suggestions. I take su suggestions as well. 
I'd appreciate it. All right, thanks for checking out the video.